Hey, welcome back to the second edition of Sip and Say. And yes, I am sipping on a little red wine. Um, I am back to show you, as promised, um, how to wear a men's collared shirt to punch up kind of a, a casual outfit. So when you go out this weekend for Valentine's Day, you can kind of bring the sleigh without doing a whole bunch of uh, fuss. And if you use your guy's shirt, you know, from what I'm hearing and reading in comments, they kind of like stuff like that. So... First, my relationship um, advice. Don't put too much on Valentine's Day. You know, at our age, we've been through a few Valentine's Days. We know what it is and what it isn't. Um, my advice is just go where the love is. You know, go where someone is loving you and that you can love them back and that you feel like you're your best self when you're with them. And don't spend a lot of energy, particularly this weekend, with people that make you feel bad about you. It's, it's hard enough out here. You don't need someone to add to that. So... Here's a white collared shirt, as promised. Give me a second to move this chair out of the way. Oh. Oops. Okay, so for all of you um, holy rollers, yes, I drink wine. Yes, I'm still saved. No, I don't believe in drunkenness. Glad we got that out the way. Um... You take the shirt and you wrap it around like so. So the collar should be up like this. And just so that you know, we saw this. Um, this was posted out on Facebook a while ago. And it was a young girl that was wearing it. And I'm, I'm showing the seasoned women, hey, babe, we can rock this too. But we're going to rock it like we got good sense. So the first thing we're going to do is put on a t-shirt. Um, because a t-shirt allows us to do what? Wear a bra. Because we need what? A bra. Because we're what? 45 and up. So you tie it around like so. And I'm kind of struggling with the buttons because I have really long nails right now. And you have to kind of fit everything in. So one tip I would recommend for those that may be a little a little heavier on the top than a B is to kind of lean forward. You know, give it the lean and you're able to button a little better. Ta -da, I don't own the rights to this music. Da, 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 da. Oh, come on. God, like I need a class and sticking a button in a buttonhole. Okay, but it's in. For the sake of time, I want to stay it for three minutes. Pretend that I button all these buttons. This is where the arms come in, in very key right here. You need a guy with long arms is great. So you take this, try to smooth it down. Again, do the lean forward, and then you need to do a tie. Remember, this is tied, or we're pretending. You tie that like so. Kind of smooth out that pocket so you don't like you have like bullet boobs, you know. If you want to give it a double knot, you can. You want to give it a little knot like that. And there you are. Cute for Valentine's Day. Now look at the back, like so. I don't know if you can see it. It covers your hind, so you don't have to worry about your dope being out. You can put on a chunky necklace, and you're ready for whatever for Valentine's Day. So I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Love on someone. Don't spend this weekend crying, not another tear. If there's someone that hurt you and you think they're going to hurt you this Valentine's Day, walk away. Life is too short. So we speak next. Love on somebody. Oh, I forgot to add this. Dimensions. I am 36D on the top. My waist is eh, about 30 or so. So this works best for, like I said, a bigger guy or your son's shirt or whatever. As long as the guy is like wide, it works. If you have a fun size guy, this is not the... This is not the craft thing for you. You know, just pass on this one and, you know, catch one next one. And don't wear another guy's shirt while you're out with your guy just trying to be cute. Like, don't do that. Don't ruin Valentine's Day. Anyway, I'm past my time. Love on somebody. See you next time.